Welcome to our Angular tutorial. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from one of our viewers. They ask, how can we emit an event from a parent component to a child component? Typically in Angular, we use the at output decorator along with event emitter to send events from child to parent. But what if we want to do the opposite? Let's explore this concept together. Okay, we're back with another tech video. Now I'm gonna go through your question, answer it, and hopefully you get the solution. Now remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me and you'll get there to that resolution. All right, let's continue on to the video. To emit an event from a parent component to a child component in Angular, we can use a different approach than the typical event emitter used for child to parent communication. First, we can utilize the at input decorator in the child component. This allows the parent component to bind data directly to the child. Next, in the parent component, we can define a property that we want to pass to the child. We will bind this property to the child component's input. If we need to emit events or notify the child of changes, we can use a shared service. This service can hold the state and allow both components to communicate. Finally, inject this service into both the parent and child components. The parent can update the service data and the child can subscribe to changes. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To emit an event from a parent to a child component, use the at view child decorator in the parent. This allows you to reference the child component directly. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To emit an event from a parent to a nested child component, the user implemented a solution using the onChanges function. In the parent component, a button toggle state is managed. In the parent HTML, the nested child component receives the button toggle state as an input property. In the recursive nested child component, the on init and on changes lifecycle hooks are used. The button toggle state is updated whenever the parent button is clicked. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To emit an event from a parent to a child, you can use a local store with property management. The parent updates the state in the store and the child subscribes to it. This method is great for many-to-many -many data transfers and is applicable to the original question. However, it can be heavier, but offers robustness for larger applications. For store management, a recommended library is ELF, which you can find at ng-neat ELF on GitHub. And that's it, guys. 
I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.